Have me here. What are you afraid of? <laughs> Enemy targets detected. Inputting commands. Whoa. Let's go. Take this. <laughs> Targets detected. I can do this. Don't come in! 
sword devils. I'll crush them all. Thanks for the invite. I'm so excited. This view isn't something you see every day. So you guys travel across the galaxy and journey through space like this every day? Oh, that's so cool. No wonder everyone on the Express is so knowledgeable. Ugh, you really like a compliment, don't you? <laughs> Just kidding. That's exactly what I thought you'd say. I've yet to experience it myself, but no one in their right mind would turn down a chance to journey through space. Boarding the Express is just one small step. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to travel the depths of the universe. After all, I did promise Branya and Nat that I'd continue to protect the Underworld and help rebuild Bellobog. Still... I bet there's still a chance for kids like Hook and Clara, right? Who knows? Maybe they'll be able to represent Bellabog as it returns to the arms of the universe!
Hmm. Mm-hmm. The server's still not open. Ugh. Uh, yo, it's you! You're interested in the supernatural, right? <laughs> Lucky for you, I just finished editing my stream. It's all the proof you need. But before you watch it, I gotta ask you a question. Do you believe in ghosts? I knew it! Curious cats like us usually have a better sixth sense. It's easier for us to perceive the unseen. Enough chit-chat. Look, this is the weird stuff that happened yesterday when I was streaming in Fixtral Garden. What's up, guys? Little Gwei here. We've come to the scariest, most haunted place in the Lofu, Fixtral Garden. Don't forget to like, follow, and share, or else I'm gonna chicken out. They say there's been paranormal activity You're such a scary cat! You said you'd protect me! How do I stop something in the middle of body? I think I just saw something go wrong! <laughs> Best, you got kicked out of the garden straight after. But did you see the key moment? Ugh, why are you so focused on all the wrong things? It wasn't the Realm Keeping Commission or the Cloud Knights that came to deal with it. It was the judges from the Ten Lords Commission. You've been on the Sienjo for this long, and you've never heard of the Ten Lords Commission? They're the most mysterious organization on the Sienjo. Their investigators always pop up out of nowhere, then disappear without a trace. If they show up, you know something serious is going down. In other words, something big must have happened in Fixtral Garden for them to show up. Exactly! Now, do you believe that my content isn't clickbait? Actually, do you have some free time? Do you want to explore Fixtral Garden together? Just the two of us? I guarantee you we're gonna reveal the truth this time. <laughs> I knew it! This is what people like us live for! Let's go! Extractor clean to your star skip service. <laughs> Tell you the scary stories about Fixtral Garden? Then allow me. As a streamer, I've done my fair share of research. Let me find my script. <clears throat> Wandering fox spirits and ghostly tales. Fixtral Garden was originally a garden delve constructed by a foxy and craftmaster. 
It was a place for their kin to rest, write poems, and feast, etc., etc. It said the elite pilots of the Foxians were almost wiped out in the denizens of Abundance War 30 years ago. People went to the Foxum tomb in Fixtral Garden to grieve for the departed. Because of this, Fixtral Garden rarely saw visitors and was bereft of joy. Over time, Fixtral Garden became full of flickering, ghostly flames, and weeping lamentations echoed through the air. The rumor that the garden was haunted spread like wildfire among Sienjo Lofu residents. Aw, man, is it that obvious? I paid Mr. Sien to write it up for me. Sounded a little too professional, huh? I know it's easy to cast doubt, but the Ten Lords Commission actually showed up this time. Speaking of which, we have to avoid running into the judges. If we get kicked out, it'll all be for nothing. Anyway, that's the background. Let's keep moving and watch your step. There are ten Lords Commission spirit fairers on patrol. Let's go the other way. We'll head to the Foxum tomb first, then cut through the Locky Fox forest. Wait, wait, wait! There are ten.
fun. <laughs> you can fight it or rock with it. That's better. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You're not going anywhere. Double speed. one up ahead. Let's go around. Time to get some footage. <laughs> I wonder if this thumbnail would be approved. Tread lightly. officials. If we're interrogated, we need to get our story straight.
Shang. We should totally team up for this performance. The fans will go wild!
100% break! Now, <laughs> time for a buzz. <laughs> Turn it up. Nap time. Let's do it again when you're leveled up. Do it again when you're leveled up. Halt! Whoa, whoa, what's up, guys? Hear me out. State your name and your business. Arrest them immediately. Individuals in a restricted area are detained first and interrogated later. No exception. Restricted area? <laughs> Since when were you in charge of Victor's Victor's Garden? Wraith Warden, these two are not your enemies. Understood, Your Honor. Look how pale she is. And it seems like her eyes aren't even focusing. <gasps> is she a ghost? As a member of the Ten Lords Commission, you may as well consider me a member of the dead. I am a judge, alias Hanya. Responsible for the four duties of detention, incarceration, interrogation, and punishment. Therefore, I know a thing or two about you. Gwenaifen, an outworlder unemployed. You entered Fixtral Garden with Su Shang, a cloud knight, the day before yesterday. Uh, unemployed? I'm a street performer and a streamer who reports on current events. A streamer. It's a legit operation. As for this one here... You are a passenger on the Astral Express and a guest of the seat of Divine Foresight. You assisted the Cloud Knights in resolving the Ambrosial Arbor Calamity and are a friend of the Alliance. She's the Nameless? From the train? Tell me, 
Gwenaifun, why did you return here? Uh, no reason. I haven't posted anything for ages, so I wanted to film some ghosts for my videos. <laughs> We have already told you there are no ghosts on the Xianzhou. It is a ridiculous superstition. As a resident of the Xianzhou, you should refrain from believing or spreading rumors. But I saw them! They had ghostly flames coming out of their body, and they were cackling! A and Sushang saw them too! Miss Gwenaifen, it's hard to explain, but those things aren't ghosts. Please don't bring legends from your homeworld onto the Xianzhou. The roaming entities you saw are extremely dangerous energy parasites. We call them Heliobi. I... Really? I don't believe it. Heliobi? What's that? <gasps> oh, I get it. Heliobi is just another word for ghost on the Xianzhou, right? That's gotta be it. Maybe we should let Mr. Tail out for a bit. Uh, Mr. Tail... I heard you, I heard you. Unbelievable. What am I, her pet? Mr. Tail? I'm a Heliobus. We're not ghosts. Got it? Now scram! girl. Here to film ghosts, yet terrified when she lays eyes on one. Deep breaths, little Grey. Deep breaths. <clears throat> Can I have a small chat with this Mr. Tail? I said scram! I have no time to talk nonsense with you! I told you, I'm not a ghost! If I have to repeat myself again, I'll be eating every one of you! Please don't be afraid! He's only kidding! Mr. Tail is a vegetarian! Your Honor, if I may ask, what exactly is this... fire thing? How can we prevent it from hurting people? And why is a judge carrying one around with her? I believe we're done here. We have important matters to attend to. Hua Hua, please see them off. Yes, ma'am. Sister, don't be angry. Most of your time is spent in the field. You're not accustomed to dealing with others. Leave this to me. If I explain the reasoning, they will leave. As things stand, the situation in Fixtral Garden is sure to keep drawing attention. If we forcibly dismiss these two today, their curiosity will remain. Who knows what might happen if they decide to come back. They might not be lucky enough to run into us next time. As I said, sister, I will handle this. I assume the two of you heard about the damage done to the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace? The Heliobi sealed within escaped, and have been haunting this place. The Ten Lords Commission has orders to capture them. I am strongly advising you to leave, for your own safety. If you have any questions, raise them now. I will do my best to satisfy your curiosity. But I hope you will keep any information you hear in strict confidence, and then leave Fixtral Garden, never to return. That's... that's very reasonable, Your Honor. Thank you. I promise we'll leave after asking our questions. As a clerk at the Hall of Karma, my knowledge on these matters is somewhat limited but I will try my best to satisfy your curiosity. Please proceed. According to the Divination Commission's classification, they are energy parasites from the cosmos itself. They are starfire essence that materialize in the form of strange fire. Metaphorically speaking, they are like moths to a flame, but that flame is the thoughts of sentient beings. Yes. They attach themselves to sentient beings, 
feeding off their host's experiences and emotions. A Heliobus will slowly take root in its host's nervous system, using their deepest desires and weaknesses to create wild delusions. They manipulate their host like a chess piece. The host has no choice but to obey the Heliobus, so we refer to it as possession. By that point, the host is no longer who they once were, but a Heliobus both similar to and completely different from their past self. The host's body will soon be exhausted by the Heliobus, like burnt firewood. Dangerous? Oh, you don't know the half of it. The other Heliobi are nothing compared to me! Tail was subdued and sealed in my tail by Madame Hanya. He won't harm others. Regrettably, Heliobi are not flesh and blood, and so they are difficult to destroy. Before the restoration of the Creation Furnace, the Ten Lords Commission plans to set up an evil binding matrix in this abandoned garden to imprison these abominations. As you can see, the evil binding matrix has not yet been completed, and not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. This area is still very dangerous. I will ask Judge Huohua to escort you out of the garden. Not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. So that means the other supernatural stuff that's been happening on the Law Fu might be related? Your Honor, I have loads of info sources. Maybe I can help you. Unnecessary. Those not involved should leave now. Go. Um, excuse me. Well, we should go. Fixtral Garden is full of abnormalities. Even the Ten Lords Commission cannot guarantee your safety. I suggest you leave immediately. This place is dangerous. You should leave at once. Ghosts? Heliobi? Possession? That was a big info dump. My brain is still loading. Oh, it all sounds more like an urban myth than a ghost story. Energy parasite sounds more cool than scary, don't you think? Mmm, I never thought about it like that. Nice take. My audience likes getting to the bottom of mysteries, secrets, and conspiracies. We streamers have to cater to that, you know? Ugh, I've got loads more questions, but my curiosity is satisfied for now. We better leave before the judges decide to arrest us. I'm gonna see if I can get a video of Mr. Tail on the way back. I've already got the title. Demonic fire suddenly appears in Fixtral Garden. Innocent Foxy and Girl possessed. What do you think? That gets so many views. Can you give me a hand? Mmm, true. But I'd probably only do a few decades. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, remember. I'll need your help. Let's go. Is that it? Stingy chest. Excuse me, can we go now? Yes. He's trapped in my tail, so... <sighs> trapped? For now? Sooner or later I'll find a way to make you break the seal! You think I like spending time with you? Shall we go? Let's 
Let's go. <laughs> Let's go this way. It's quicker. Miss Quahua, can we have Mr. Tail come out? For a photo? Miss Queen Ethan, I'm on official duty right now. It's so quiet. It's getting scarier and scarier. Please stay close to me. Did you hear that? single thing. Wait a minute. Where did Miss Queen Ifen go? Uh, Miss Queen Ifen! Oh. Did we lose her? We need to find Miss Queen Ifen first. Stay close to me, please! We need to find Miss Queen Ivan first. <laughs> we need to find Miss Queen. Gwenyphon, where are you? Hwahwa, stay close. Hwahwa? Oh, no. Where did she go? Is this a mirror? It looks a little creepy. Huh? Hi. Hmm. Uh, uh. Uh, ah! Where am I? Is this fixed wall garden? But it looks different somehow. I should keep moving. here are being twisted by some sort of illusion. I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. Isn't this... Where I started? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle.
Isn't this where I started? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. back again? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. are but puzzles in this place. Come, lost one! Do you desire to leave? Then <laughs> come and fight! Hmm... You have a strange sense on you. You must be... I've heard the whispers of the leaves that fall in Fixtral Garden. The flames weep and profess to me that a powerful mortal approaches. They carry the scent of a great battle. With none other than Fantilia. You... You are the one who drove Fantilia away. <sighs> what power! Your presence alone is delicious enough to make one tremble. Let me taste you, please. One bite. Just one bite! I can't wait to savor you! These are no ordinary ingenia. <laughs> of course not. They are mere pawns dancing to my whim. Fighting for your survival, after all. I'll take that as my invitation to inhabit you for a while. <laughs> Incredible. Such a relaxed specimen. A soft cake of a host. It's almost as if... As if this body doesn't even belong to you. What makes you so detached, young lady? And what is this at your core? Sun? <laughs> it burns! Never mind. I won't be staying for long. So let's get along while it lasts, shall we? You can call me Cirrus. I only want to leave this place. I have no desire to harm you. Allow me to explain what's happening. The Sienjo natives call it a ghost lock. You're walking in a circle and no amount of walking will get you out of it. So, I'm going to help you break free of the circle that Furinox created, and you're going to help me evade the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> it's a win-win. How does that sound?
You must have figured out that I'm not the master of this place. It was created by another Heliobus named Fury Nox. Unfortunately, I'm the only one who can help you escape from here. <laughs> you mean the talismans left behind by little lost fox judge? Those won't help you. <laughs> now that I'm possessing you, I can make you see things that you couldn't see before. <laughs> Good! I'm glad we understand each other. As a courtesy, I shall leave you intact, for the time being. As soon as I get what I want, I'll be gone. Now, go and look at those talismans again. The paper dolls. You'll know where to go. <laughs> go! Find all those clues your judge friend left behind. Find the talismans. You can trust me. I want to leave this place too. We are useful to each other. In any case, it doesn't matter if you don't trust me. It's not like you can be rid of me. <laughs> hey, use your eyes. I made the talismans float. Pay attention. Do you understand? This story of the supernatural is in the illusory maze for a reason. It contains the clue to help us get out of here. Come back and read it again if you need to. will not open without the proper courtesies. Return from where you came, visitors. performed. Enter, oh honored guests. It seems like we're ready. Now we just have to get out. Hey! <laughs> 
<laughs> See? I told you I'd help you. The way out is straight ahead. Just keep going. Stop! Do you remember our deal? You need to help me evade capture. I can taste your integrity. Such a rich flavor. A little hard to digest. Forget about the judge. Just get us both out of here. Wait! Please don't leave me! Please, I'm begging you. Can you please come closer? I'm so scared! Um, have you seen Miss Gwynifen? I still haven't found her. Is she gonna be okay? Give it up. Gwynifen was probably eaten by the Heliobi already. Huh? How can that be? If that could happen to someone as lively as Miss Gwynifen, that means I'm in even more danger. Why don't you take a guess? <gasps> you can find the way out, right? Please take me with you. Oh, not this again. You're a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Why are you always begging others for help? You know I'm not cut out to be a judge. I thought maybe if I worked long enough in the Ten Lords Commission, I'd get braver. But now, I know it's impossible. <laughs> Useless brat. Why was I sealed in with someone like you? You talk tough all day long, then let both of us get stuck in a trap. Who's the useless brat now? There's no point in following me. I'm leaving, and you're not coming with me. Goodbye. Beast? From a taxonomic perspective, I believe you're closer to that definition. The Ten Lords Commission needs to overhaul their hiring criteria. How did someone as useless as you ever become a judge? <gasps> hey, cut it out! I'm the only one around here who gets to tell this kid off! Me and those other judges! Got that? Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I smell something familiar. Serious. It's you. Still a fan of your pathetic ventriloquist act, I see. <laughs> ah, this is funny! This is just too funny. I thought you'd already escaped the Furnace's destiny of torture. Who would have thought that a piece of Ignamar the Great, the fragment with the most fight in it, would become a guard dog sealed inside a crybaby? Oh, forgive me. Did I say guard dog? No, 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 no. That won't do. You're just a guard dog's tail, right? Just a tail. A tail. A tail. Laugh while you can, coward. I'm gonna swallow you whole the second you leave that girl's body. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> the joke's on you. You couldn't leave that judge's body if you tried! You can't eat her, let alone escape from her. <laughs> Mr. Tail, you're pathetic. Darn it. Uh, think of something, you wimp. Oh, Miss Trailblazer, take this talisman and stick it to your body. It'll temporarily suppress the Heliobus's influence. <laughs> Uh, hey, girl! Say something nice to Huahua! Her crying is like a mosquito in my ear! Still, 
what the Heliuma said was true. I've always been shy and scared. My life's been a nightmare ever since Tail possessed me. When I was at school, people were always asking why my tail was on fire. Everywhere I went, people would notice. Oh, so it's all my fault. If you just let me devour you at the start, I could have spared you the trouble. <laughs> then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird, so I thought I'd found somewhere I belonged. But the job... the job is too dangerous. I have to fight demons and ghosts and bad guys every day. I... I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. Who thought making a heliophobe with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been so useless. I... I'm glad it helped. You hear that? Stop crying! You're useful! And your paper dolls are useful too. Oh, I've had enough of this! As soon as I swallow that coward Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby too! What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power, we could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Furinox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail seems she knows nothing about you. Er, team building? Well, Mr. Tail seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy. Do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? Ugh. Because over a thousand years ago, this very garden was the site of an epic battle between the General of the La Fu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the General again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth-shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? Of course. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. <laughs> of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the general. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the creation furnace. But there's an exception to everything. Mr. Tail, I thought you'd escaped to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. Sealed my foot? My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then... Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! Bah! I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! Uh, all the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then! <laughs> Hilarious! It's a pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down. Just like Ignamar did. Grudge? How shallow. If you must know the forces behind our actions, there's a pinch of envy. Envy towards the potent emotions you corporeal beings have. The 
then there's a dash of aggression. The desire to see whether the Heliobi or bodies of flesh and blood are stronger. Lastly, there's a drizzle of desire. We desire to possess your physical bodies, so we can eat, kill, love, and hate. <sighs> we Heliobi were carefree life forms. We were tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the fragments? You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? Don't get ahead of yourself, Shiras. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Ah! The door just opened on its own! Less screaming, more thinking. This is an opportunity, is it not? Let's go in and check it out. I feel much safer with you here. Still feel like I'm gonna faint, though. May the Arbiter protect us! The courtesies have been performed. Enter, O oh honored guests. Look! Uh, there's a mirror behind the door! Didn't I see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? That... sound... What? Well, well, this way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror? That voice sounds familiar. Hua, are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madam Shrey? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwenifen. I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come. Pass through the mirror and come to our side. Oh, are we above Fixtral Garden? Hmm. So many bronze mirrors. Could it be that? Uh, you're right, girl. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all!
This is the exit, you useless brat. Come here. Yeah, Madam Shrey can be a bit of a meanie, but she'd never talk to me like that. That doesn't sound like her. Come to think of it, it kind of sounds like Tail. Constructive criticism! Hm. Let's go look at the other mirrors. Oh, oh, sweetie. Come to Big Sister Shuo Yi. Ugh, yuck! That judge would never say something so sickly. Let's go look at the next mirror. The situation in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Shuo Yi! What? The real Madame Shuo Yi? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Huo Hua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. But what if I can't tell the difference? You must trust yourself. Come. But... Oh, oh, sweetie. Uh, Let's go look at the next... But... Mm, this isn't the right place. We picked the wrong bronze mirror. The situation in fix... Over here! What? I see. Do not be afraid. Huo Hua knows me well. <laughs> but you must trust you. Hurry, Huo Hua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Likely through some secret means that I am unaware of. Uh, I didn't have any connections at all! Who is Hanya? Uh, never mind! Forget I said anything! So, we're gonna... Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Hanya is my younger sister, but this alone cannot prove who I am. Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spirit Fair Hua Hua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. Be Madame Shrey behind the mirror. So, but. Hurry, Huahua. Path. Wait, I want to ask if. We are both judges of the Ten Lords Commission. Evidently, we are colleagues. The Heliobus that trapped us here wouldn't know that Madame Shrey and Madame Hanya are twin sisters. <sighs> A powerful. Heliobus possessed her tail. It is a power that I dream of having for myself. <laughs> Never knew you were so popular, Mr. Tail. <laughs> Very funny. So... Hurry, Huahua. Wait. So... Uh, mirrors again! What a surprise! Hurry, Hua Hua. Fish. I need to ask you some questions. So. Come here, Hua. Uh, I need. So. But. 
Mm, this isn't the right place. We picked the wrong bronze mirror. Come here, Hua. I need to act you. It's the most powerful fragment of Ignamar's demise. Who would have guessed it still contains so much power after so many years? Ha! <laughs> You've given the game away! Her caution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. Ha! <laughs> That's a funny way of describing cowardice. Nauseating. So... I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... <sighs> not a single one is the real thing! None of them show Madame Shrei as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me. But she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shrei. She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. <sighs> the Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are either. What to you? Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! What do you know? <laughs> what are we even talking about? We need to focus! The illusion wants to keep us in, but it can't possibly keep expanding its borders forever. I think there's got to be a fourth mirror somewhere. Uh, I think there's a mirror on that floating island, but it's a bit far away. Oh, could I crawl my way there? Quit stalling and get on with it! I didn't think you'd be able to. <laughs> All these years and you finally started to grow up a bit. Hurry, Hua Hua. This should be the last mirror. I don't want to go back the way we came, but I need to ask some questions about myself to make sure. Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier, and they need more than just courage. It is the decree of the Ten Lords for Hua Hua to be elevated to a judge. There must be some meaning in it. Just what do those old fogies see in this coward? <sighs> Let's go! This is the right mirror! <sighs> Are we... back in Fixtral Garden? You've returned safely. It seems the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shrey, I'm so happy to see you're all right! Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Heliobus, and the Spiritfarers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Huahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Huh? I won't be able to do it! I'm not as powerful as you two! I always run and hide before a battle. Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. I know you're trying to comfort me, but that sounded a little weird. You need to start filtering out the stuff you don't want to hear. That's what I do. The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You are already a fitting judge. Be confident. On that point, none of the other judges can surpass you. Suppress the monster? Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress tail. I guess we're more like... friends? Friends? Ugh. 
I don't make friends with food! <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion, over there. Let's go. My name is Gwinai Fen. Gwi means wood, Nai means to exist, and Fen means fragrant. Rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? I usually do juggling performances on this side of Exalting Sanctum. Remember to come see the show when you have the chance. Jeez, why do I feel like I haven't seen you in a long time? What? You saw me yesterday? Ah, a day without seeing you feels like three years. See you next time. I'll save you a front row seat. Oh, uh, it's a makeshift outdoor stand. Front row sounds a little fancy. My real name is Guinevere. Guinefen is the Xianzhou name Shangshang gave me. Who is Shangshang, you ask? She's my best friend. Sushang, the Cloud Knight. Have you met her? My re- I've got more than a dozen siblings. One of them is my older brother. He's also living on the Xianzhou. His name is Long Xierla but he seems to prefer being called Lancelot. I learned my juggling skills on the street. My brothers taught me. It started out as a way to survive. Who'd have thought the performances would become so popular? It feels like fate is teasing us sometimes. <laughs> this girl arrived on your Xianzhou ship and started juggling to earn her tips. Melons and dates make a very nice meal, but to make my day needs at least 10 strail. No need to waste time on idle chat, because a real stage play is right where it's at. Don't you think the poetry and songs of the Xianzhou people are enchanting? One time, I asked Shangshang to teach me to write poetry, and she only wrote four words in three months. I don't think I'll be able to learn at this rate. There's so much good food on the Law Fu. But for juggling, one has to stay light and nimble. How does that ancient saying go? It's hard to be both loyal and filial. You can't serve two masters? Something like that. Xu Shang has been calling me Little Gui for a long time now, which is fine. But recently, I've noticed that even my brothers on the street have started calling me Little Gui, and even audience members. At this rate, no one's gonna remember my real name. 
On this Yinjo, short life species like us have a fleeting existence. Here one moment and gone the next. That's all the more reason to seize the moment while you still have it. There's a crosstalk comedy duo in Exalting Sanctum, Forth and Backen. They're a friendly couple of guys. They helped me to embellish a lot of my act. In fact, the doggerel portion of the performance was their idea. Shang Shang is my best friend. Aside from my street performing brothers, she's the person I've known the longest in the Law Fu. I wanted to become sworn sisters with her, but she didn't seem interested. I heard that the general is interested in these street music performances. I wish I had the chance to perform at the seat of divine foresight. Then I could be famous. I've never spoken to the general, but I did meet his retainer once. He asked me if I was a woman of the sword, so you know what I did? I did a sword-swallowing performance right in front of him. Jing Chia likes to play celestial jade in exalting sanctum, but sometimes she gets tired and comes to see me juggling. I can tell from her face if she's won or lost that day. Red is a win, pale is a loss. And really pale means her boss is out looking for her. Living? That's all a big hustle and bustle. But life, life's all about savoring the moment. Spread those positive vibes and watch the good luck follow. Fresh face, fresh vibes, must be talking about me. The more you can do, the easier life gets. Did you check out my latest live stream? It was a showstopper. Sushong, we should totally team up for this performance. The fans will go wild. Hey, little guy, want to see some sword swallowing? I've added some new tricks to my act. Hey, Ching Chua, you're looking chipper. Did the cards fall in your favor? Come get a better view, Hua Hua. Don't worry, the fire won't bite you, you know. I'm Bailu, a doctor from the Alchemy Commission. Come here and let me have a look at you. Hmm. What's wrong? Where does it hurt? Do you want candy? No? Huh? Then I'll have it. Ow. Huh? I have... Do you want candy? No? Huh? Then I'll have it. Ow. Huh? I have to go back now. Please! Just a little bit longer. Do I even count as a dragon? <sighs> what kind of a dragon can step out of her own house and has to obey the rules of the clan? I'd say I'm more like a fish in a fishbowl. Lunch is like medicine. It has to have the right balance of ingredients. Two smoked patties and a cup of milk tea is a great way to heal your heart and lift your spirits. Study medicine, find herbs, and broaden my horizons. Everything can be used as a medicine. The rarer a disease is, the bolder the prescription must be. There is only one ailment that I can't cure, and that is being short! <laughs> Putting my head in the water, and though it is a small area, I feel I can breathe freer than before, far beyond the boundaries of the water. A patient told me that the Garden of Gourmet released a new dessert called Fallen from the Skies. The sugar threads are super long. <sighs> but I can't get my hands on it. The general comes to me with ailments such as too tired to stay awake. And then he just asks how I've been and leaves after sitting around for a while. Sometimes he doesn't even take any medicine from me. Whenever diviner food is over time, we start running out of sugar powder for the medicinal eye-soothing tea. How Master Yu Kong. She says she lets everything go every time she sees me, but I don't think she has. Ting Yun can endure more intense massages than other people, so I never show her mercy. Ah, even if I don't step outside, I can still hear her. Be eager to help those in need. <laughs> That's her, right? I just wish I met the inventor of Celestial Jade earlier. This activity is great for both physical and mental health. It needs to get popularized. 
Well? Mm, whenever I run off to play in Exalting Sanctum, I always bump into her and Su Shang. They're usually in need of medical assistance. Sometimes Su Shang is carrying her, sometimes she's carrying Su Shang, and sometimes they're both in bad shape. How come? Huh. Performing arts can be dangerous, I guess. I ran into her on a dark night once. She scared me half to death. Overworked, chronic insomnia, emotional turmoil. All the signs are there. If you ask me, she needs to take it easy for a few decades to show any signs of recovery. <sighs> She's always so jumpy and tense at her appointments. And I swear, she talks to herself. Or... Something we can't see. I should give her something stronger to calm her nerves. The life of the Videodora is like a dream. <laughs> My healing skills are second to none. I've mastered the art of healing, but not the art of growing taller. <clears throat> if I was bigger, I could have explored the whole galaxy by now. Don't worry. If anything happens, I'll just put you back together. What's that, Master Divider? Internal heat again? You need to start putting more sugar in your tea. Dunhung, teach me some more high altar magic. Dunhung, teach me some more high altar magic. Have you made up your mind? Let's go. Are not yet adopt. Uh, adapt? Uh, adapt. Uh, feel free to give me some advice. You've heard the story of Ignamar and the great Heliobus' glorious fight against the General. They were an entity born of many Heliobi fusing together, but Heliobi are gradually tainted by the emotions and desires of those we possess. We tend to spite each other, and don't like to fuse together. It's like having multiple personalities inside a single head. It leads to... infighting. A powerful Heliobus like Ignamar or Furinox might be able to swallow a lesser Heliobus and placate them for a while. But this internal balance is easily broken when exposed to external forces. Just like how we were torn apart and reborn after Ignamar fought the General. Therefore, this might be the way to defeat Furinox. We can cause them to break apart and reduce their power. Then, the Ten Lords Commission can use their sacred vessels to seal up all of Furinox's fragments. I have a question. Why are you betraying your own kin? Why would you help the Sien Zhou when we have sealed you for so long? <sighs> Why? Must Heliobi always have a reason for their behavior? Perhaps I don't want Furinox to devour me. Perhaps I dislike idiots who use force and nothing else. Perhaps I wish to fight the General myself. Or maybe I just want to do a favor for the Ten Lords Commission that will ensure I can leave here in one piece. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission always keep our promises. If you can truly deal with the problem at hand, I will ask for your freedom from the Ten Lords. However, I cannot guarantee the outcome of the appeal. <sighs> How conventional. Fine, I accept. But you better keep your promise, puppet. <laughs> Me and Furinox were furnace mates. I know them well. They're powerful, 
but as naive as a child and obsessed with victory. I only need to say three things to incite them. Hey, I'll need your body for a while longer. Furynox! Furynox! Before you duel the general, why don't you fight me? <laughs> Cirrus? What makes you worth my time, weakling? I've turned this garden into my territory and made the dogs of the Ten Lords my puppets. As soon as the general arrives, the Heliobi will have a rematch. Why should I fight my own at this crucial moment? That group of amateurs you've put together? Ha! They are nothing compared to me. I have already obtained the most wonderful pawn for myself. A piece that once expelled Fantilia. Fantilia? Fantilia! I remember. What a wonderful host. I want it. Then send the spirit farers under your control to find me. If you can defeat this nameless I'm possessing, then you can swallow me up and let my strength aid you when you fight against the general. What do you say? Deal. My pawns and I will show you no mercy. See? Easy peasy. <laughs> Does that mean all the spirit farers out there have fallen? What a useless army. Does that mean we'll be fighting our friends? <sighs> oh, do puppets feel empathy? Or do you not wish to defeat Furinox anymore? We Heliobi think of such matters as business transactions. As long as something can bring us victory, we will destroy everything. Even allies and kin. Make the decision. Furinox's pawns, your companions, must be destroyed. <sighs> Please come over here. I need to give you something. You two, take this before we fight Furinox. This is the Lunambra Gourd, a sacred vessel made by the Artisanship Commission. The Ten Lords Commission has made some changes to it to better suppress Heliobi. After you fight the puppets controlled by Furinox, make sure you seal their Heliobi fragments in here. Also, her time as a judge has been brief. She is still inexperienced. Apart from that, please also have mercy on the spirit bearers that have fallen under Furinox's control. <sighs> Mr. Chael, we're gonna fight some really dangerous enemies now. Please lend me your strength too. Oh, sounds like someone Finally learn to talk tough. I would have believed you if your legs weren't shaking so much. Don't point that out. It took me a lot of effort to be this brave. All this time I've just been hiding behind Miss Trailblazer. I'm such a bad judge. <sighs> Madam Shrey said those possessed by a Heliobus can't get possessed again. I'm the only person who can help everyone. Exactly. You're welcome, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Huahua, though I am of Ingenium body, I too am feeling a sliver of fear. Madam Shrei, you're afraid too? Faced with a demon that can manipulate life at will? Of course I'm afraid. Afraid that I won't ever work with my sister again. Uh, I guess if even you two are afraid, then... I feel a little better now. Let's go. I will find my own way to defeat the pawns possessed by Furinox. And before that foolish Heliobus has realized what's happening, I will suppress all of their fragments within the Lunambra Gourd. So we'll need to activate the Evil Binding Matrix, right? Once my task is done, I will meet you at the Verdant Terrace and activate the Evil Binding Matrix at its Matrix core. Okay.
Titans is so powerful, why would they allow themselves to break apart so easily? The stronger you are, the more you underestimate your enemies. Sometimes, being weak and humble is the way to survive. Those are... possessed wreath wardens! Don't expect me to hold back. Help me, Mr. Tail! What happened to talking tough? Time for a fun. <laughs> Dodge this! Surprise, beat it! Let's rock! Get them! Dodge this! out quickly. Do you remember the incantation?
Shrey! And Miss Gwynaithen! Thank goodness she's all right. Ooh, there are so many spirit bearers lying on the floor! Trailblazer! Quapa! I'm so glad you're okay! <sighs> I have defeated all the spirit fairs controlled by Furinox. It was quite troublesome taking them down without doing any harm. How goes your task? We're doing well! We've sealed most of Furinox's fragments. Now, we shall seal the fragments absorbed by the Lunambra Gourd into the Evil Binding Matrix. Once Furinox's power has been stripped, it will no longer be able to influence reality in Fixtral Garden. This gourd is so pretty! Is this what they call a sacred vessel on the Sienjo? Uh, Miss Gwynaithen, please be careful. You might feel dizzy if you get too close to the Matrix. It's okay, it's okay. This is my first time seeing the Ten Lords Commission's exercising tools up close. <laughs> get her away from her! You I'd leave your body, little pawn. Excellent. I will keep my promise. Optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. <laughs> Time for a fun. <laughs> Wanna see what I can do? <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. <laughs> This demon is quite troublesome. Is everyone okay? They've consumed too many Heliobi. We die from exhaustion before we manage to weaken it. We've still got a chance, Puppet. Sierra said it themselves. There's a fragile balance when Heliobi fuse together. You know what to do, don't you, Hua Hua? Uh, but... But what? Aren't you gonna be living the life you've always wanted once I'm gone? Uh, uh... <sighs> These pawns are no fun. Why don't you join in too, huh? Struggle. Be my subject. 
yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Time for a bug. <laughs> a mere coin. Turn it up! Take this! Shape of Tai Shu! Rise, beat it! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! This song's for you! Keep up! Time to suffer! Suppress! We'll come! I tremble! This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Unscathed. Unscathed. I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! Surrender! Subdue! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Pretty good crowd today. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. <laughs> Turn it up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> Want to see what I can do? You're not going anywhere. Songs for you. Keep up! I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself yourself? in vain! You can find it, or rock with it! Combat needs optima. <laughs> this is double speed. 
Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it! Or rock with it! You're not going anywhere! Copy. Suppress. I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! This! Surprise! Beat it! <laughs> 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 I wonder how Hua Hua is doing. I should check up on her. The one possessing Hua Hua seems to have disappeared. I don't know if I should be happy or sad for her. Never mind, I have never been good at figuring out emotions. Thank you for your assistance, Nameless. Reinforcements from the Ten Lords Commission will be here soon, and Gwenyphon will be sent to an apothecary. It is only an artificial Ingenium body. I can swap into another one easily. Do not worry. Hanya returned to the Ten Lords Commission after you left. She is coming with the reinforcements as we speak. No, the demon lives on. They even possessed a young spirit fair under my command. As starfire essences, the Heliobi will never die. The records in the Ten Lords Commission's evil binding tomes were all real. Cirrus lost most of their power and poses no danger for the time being. But they will remain a threat for as long as they exist. Thankfully, the Ten Lords Commission had prepared other sacred vessels to suppress the Heliobi. We will construct a matrix all over this abandoned garden and seal the Heliobi within. The San Zhou will live to see another day. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. your bones to dust, sap every drop of your strength, and spit you out into the dirt where you belong! Already forgetting me? Ugh, your human tongues are no less poisonous than ours! Kid? As a spirit fair, he's already experienced more than you could in a lifetime. For as long as I'm sealed in the Matrix, I will inhabit this body. The judges can stick as many talismans and pour as much enchanted water on this flesh as they like. I don't care. As long as they want to save their own, I still have a bargaining chip. There are many, little pawn. I will exist forever. I have lived for countless years. I existed before the Alliance was even an idea. And once the Alliance has turned to dust, I will continue to exist for countless more Amber Eras. I can wait. I'll wait for humans to let their guard down. I'll wait till the Matrix drawn over fictional garden collapses. Time and opportunity will always be on my side. We will meet again. I wasn't the only Heliobus to escape when the Creation Furnace was destroyed. 
There are more of us than the mere few in Fixtral Garden. Where are they now? Hmm. And what will they do to the Lofu? I look forward to seeing how the Ten Lords Commission responds in the coming days. kinda gave me an outline of what happened in the apothecary. Can you tell me more? Thanks for telling me everything. I didn't think things would get so out of hand. I would have been able to help you if I were there too. And maybe little Gwei wouldn't have ended up in the apothecary. <sighs> oh, you don't need to worry about little Gwei. She won't be able to sit still even in a sick ward. I'm sure she'll come find you again in no time. I'm heading to the apothecary to check up on her. Catch you later!
Use double speed. Let's do it again when you're leveled up.